very excited. Today is the day that the winner of the first gen is coming to take delivery of his new truck. His name is Jack Collins. He's coming all the way from Ohio. He only lives an hour away from Cole's shop, so we came all the way down here. Lindsey Burkowski detailed the truck three times, so it looks amazing. Drove it all the way here last night after I went and picked up a new toy, but we'll talk about that later. He's on his way, should be here in like 20 minutes. We will surprise him with hopefully his dream truck. He was telling me he's got a Duramax, another first gen, so he has two first gens. I don't know who's more excited in these situations, me or the winners. I couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited to give this truck away. Also, I got in contact with both of the cash prize winners. They are getting PayPal their $1,000 cash and $500 cash. First, second, and third place, they're all getting cool prizes. Shout out to everybody that entered. If you didn't win this time, there's going to be plenty more. The next giveaway that we're doing is insane. It's the most expensive truck I've ever given away yet. We'll be announcing that very soon, so stay tuned. Anyway, Jack should be pulling up any minute now. He actually told me that he's gonna lay a heater for the video, so I'm pretty excited for that. Word on the street is he doesn't really have that much money into this truck that he's winning. I would burn the tires off if it was my truck anyway. It just happens to be an almost free truck. Well, I gotta give away this first, Jen, so. Brandon just brought me a new one. Or your Jeep? Your new Jeep is over there. I forgot I even bought this thing. <laughs> I thought they were taking it to my shop. They came from Cole's? Yeah. It fits you. It matches your eyes. Nice 30s. And they spend 42s. Big lift. Carbon shocks. 12 valves. It, it's nice. You did a good job. Yes. This is Barbie Jeep Girl's Jeep, if you didn't know. It's pretty badass. I just saw it at SEMA, but I didn't really get to talk about it. This thing is massive. Like, go stand next to it. Brandon is 6'3", and it makes him look like he's 5'6". He's got a Louis Vuitton hood stack. He's got a ladder that comes with it, like, everywhere you go. You just, like, plop the truck down, and a ladder appears next to it so you could look at the engine bay. Oh, I see the P-pump right that's missing. Yeah, it's missing two little lines. See, because it's got one, two, the P-pump, they cut the P-pump in half almost it's got a baby p pump got a little baby p pump got a turbo why is it here why is it here garrett it doesn't have no gas in it got it i'm not a jeep person but i do like cole's jeep and this is just a big pink cole's jeep basically i adopted brandon and he's going to unadopt himself if i bought a bike so running now, away from home yeah he's running away from home twice i bought a bike it's pretty quiet actually <laughs> Five people and you don't know which one it is. This one. Ah! <laughs> What's up? How much? Dude. Nice jacket. What's up? What's up? How's it going? The truck's actually not here. It's in the woods back there. So. This is Jack. And introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jack. Where are you from? Uh, Troy, Ohio. Troy, Ohio. Not too far from here, right? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah. Not bad. Twenty minutes. You have two trucks right now. How old are you? First. Uh, turning nineteen next Monday. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't we have these trucks when we were 19 yeah. years old? How many, how many dollars in tickets? I couldn't even remember. Uh, a lot. I'm I think thinking like lot. five. 500, He's, I think. He spent $500 in tickets. And, and I, bought, I won a first. Yeah. You did win a first. <laughs> Your family said that you were crazy. Yeah, my mom world. and girlfriend were like, why the hell? And I said, shits and giggles. Hey, mom and girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, he won it, so I mean. No shot. <laughs> <laughs> Badass. I gotta come look at it. <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> it is your truck. That's fair point. It's not cleaner than his truck. His truck is clean. His truck is clean. His yes, truck is clean. clean. My my truck is cleaner than my truck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Ball balls, just the pumps turned up and the straight pipe to hood stack because everybody likes hood stacks. The night we found out we wanted, he came over immediately and we were like, like, dude, what if, it, we were like, what if it's a manual? And I was like, I can drive it. We were looking at manual. You're in the shop. And you're actually an hour away from here, so you can just bring it back and we can make it however you want. So the brakes on the way back, I just gotta push it back here. I drove it eight <laughs> hours last night and I drove it two hours to go pick up that this morning. Two by 12 American Forces uh, billet caps, brand new Nitto 420 Vs that you're probably gonna burn off. Yeah. You cracked it last time? Yeah, that's why my truck's on Swampers. Well, if this site cracks, we'll get you JCXs. If you wanna make the swap, I, I actually know a guy. He's gonna crack them now. He's gonna crack them. <laughs> Jump the truck. I don't know. Whatever. It's got a interior is literally pristine. Doesn't look like anybody's sat in it. Okay, it's got a Bluetooth. Thank God. Bumped young Dolph on the way home. Money bag. I don't wish you would go. Money bag? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> she has this obsession with stickers. And whenever she details anything I have, she just leaves stickers everywhere. And so you got Shaggin' Wagon and a Fortnite character. Free of charge. I won't even charge you for that. And then she was gonna, and I had to rip the, I had to rip the brow off. And I also have the duck with a mullet. I think I love it. You think you love it? When, when the foot goes down. Then... Yeah, you want to do burnouts? Yeah. You can tear up that street. Let's go do it. Sweet. Already. Okay. You want to sign paperwork for it first? Because I don't yeah, want... I'll do that. I really want to. <laughs> His truck now. Question. Are you going to keep it or are you going to sell it? I'm keeping it. Okay, thank God. Everyone wants me to sell it. No. No. Why, why would you sell a truck that you got for 500 bucks? Okay, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I did say that whoever wins this truck yeah, needs to be yeah, good at doing burnouts because it, it does like doing burnouts. For an old man truck, it, it rips. Not on street tires, they'll probably spin a lot easier, too. Facts, and I mean, put boggers on it, too. Fuck it. <laughs> buying a house to be able to park it somewhere. You're buying a house to be able to park it? No, because I had my Duramax parked in the grass by my house. I live in an apartment like a duplex. Mm -hmm. city, park it in the apartment. The city took a picture of it in the grass, but it, hold on, I'll show you the exact picture. I took a picture, like a clean picture of the truck. And they sent me it while I was taking the picture. <laughs> like, said, if you don't move it, you're gonna start getting fined. <laughs> Who's that, uh, that D350 that was at SEMA? Whose truck is that? Uh, the other pink one, or? Yeah. Uh, the other Barbie. There's two of them? Yeah, you, yeah. Should, you could probably trade for this one. You can buy their only fan. is turn the key and start it. All that is just your heat and AC. And then uh, on your left hand side, that little pull knobby thing. Yeah, that's the headlights. Dude, it's so <laughs> badass for like no reason. <laughs> and that is authentic wood grain interior too. Straight from uh, Dubai. Plastic. Yep. to win it's about two iphones deep two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. any guesses on how long it's going to take for him to a blow it up or b total it Yeah, don't rip your fender off. Yeah, well, you like it? Rips, yeah. Glad you like it. Alright, hopefully I don't block my brain here, buddy. <laughs>
I think he'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. It's got a dent in the Is that bed. truck paid off? Uh, yeah, it's Brandon. He can't get loans. I got one rule for buying vehicles, and it's never have to make a vehicle payment. See, don't do that, though, because then you have terrible credit, and you go to buy a house, and you don't have credit, like me. And then you have to buy a fifth gen, and then you have to <laughs> G56 block it. Special delivery. This is way longer. That's what she said. Even like started it or wrote it in like. The battery is dead. The battery is dead? Yeah. It doesn't even turn on the lights. Oh, what? Why'd you do that? It's not that I did it. Uh, <laughs> when I dropped it off with Ty, he said the battery was going out. Uh -huh. And then when I picked it up, the battery was completely. Oh, man. You heard it here first. Marcos neglects all of his vehicles. That's true. Give 2.0. Give 2.0. <laughs> Mine's lower, but yours is longer. Uh -huh. I think. Something like that. Just mine's all destroyed from tires. Honestly the trucks i'm just gonna buy like 10 more of these i'll buy this one back from him i'll keep that one hayabusa <laughs> h2 another hayabusa bmw s1000 ss that's that's not a bike <laughs> and he's gone and he's gone that was a quick sale way to make some profit bro start it up not too shabby. Is it cold? <laughs> Little chilly. <laughs> I know. You hate your life. It's nice and warm up, bro. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. <laughs> so, everybody's been wondering where the picnic table is at. Uh, it's still in my driveway, uh, collecting dust. It doesn't start. I put 72 new batteries on it, and we still can't figure out why it's not starting. Also, the axle is still broken. That's simply because I'm too poor to buy a new axle. For this year, Ford Ranger, it's like $97,000 for an axle shaft, so I'm not buying a new one. Real talk. I did buy an axle. It's in Indiana. I gotta go pick it up. And then... We're gonna take this to like the sand dunes, the Amazon rainforest. We're gonna take it to the Amazon rainforest. And we're gonna take it mudding. It's not negative 37 degrees outside. Kika. It has taken me 21 years on this earth to buy one of these. And that's disappointing because this this bike is the most fun I've ever had. Something with wheels besides the pick. I don't know. What's more fun, the picnic table or the jigsaw? You road the picnic table. You can table. breathe when you drive this. You can't breathe when you drive the picnic table. So I think this one's winning. This is a 2005 Jigsaw 1000 stretched tuned it runs on what does it run on where's suzuki from so it runs on tacos swear salsa salsa yeah it runs on bald eagle semen 
and salsa. Yeah. That's what it runs on. I just bought it because I needed something to drive to go get tacos. My truck's still not back from SEMA. It got lost in transit when we shipped it back. So I didn't have anything to drive, so I had to, had to buy this. I had 200% intentions on keeping it, but I posted it on Instagram and everybody and their mother wants this bike as well. So I, I guess I'll sell it. We're gonna get a Hayabusa next. We're gonna get a Hayabusa with a 300 tire, same size tire that's on the Camaro. The bike will be like right here and the, the tire will sit like all the way back to you. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. This is the tire and right where Marcos is standing, that's where the bike will be. And it'll be this wide. And it will also be a dually and it'll make a thousand wheel horsepower even though it's a bike. It'll have 500 shot of nitrous. Rolling burnouts on the highway. Well, can we take it to the drag strip? We'll take it to the drag strip. You take it to the drag strip. We'll take it mudding it. and we'll put the world's biggest diesel bike exhaust tip on it it would probably pay for itself Hey you, yeah you, what are you doing this weekend? Ah, wrong answer. What you should be doing is going to Rockingham Speedway in Rockingham, North Carolina. We're having a truck show. It's called the Dirty South Showdown and whether you have a truck, car, side-by-side, -side, freaking bicycle, you're all invited. So grab all your friends, come out November 18th to November 20th. I'll be there, all my friends will be there. Me and Stallion will be there. There's a show and shine, there's a burnout contest, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's gonna be a great time. Click the link in the description for more information and get registered today. And make sure to stop by the GFP booth, grab yourself a hoodie, a hat, and just say hi. We're gonna have a good time. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.